What's up everyone, it's Trainer Dell, and this video I have for you uh, my personal Pokemon card collection. Now not everything, just um, like the, the folder I wanted to make and still working on um, of my own personal favorites and stuff. Um, so I always wanted to have like all the Pokemon in card form, uh, at least one of like kind of like a card decks. And so I've completed up to X and Y. Uh, I think I'm missing Magirna. And then I kind of stopped. I bought packs here and there and just kind of kept like the Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield Pokemon off to the side because I haven't bought another folder. Uh, but when I did buy a folder, this whole Pokemon craze happened on Black Friday. I was like, you know what? I want to go. There's a, there was a sale on, and I showed it before, the Ultimate Guard um, zip up the, the portfolio. And I wanted to put some of my valuable slash, like, nice-looking cards in it. And I don't have, like, the best collection. Like, no no way in doubt. Like, I, there's nothing, like, too amazing about my collection. It's just stuff that I've gathered throughout the years. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share with you because it's, you know, Christmas time and a time to not also reflect, like, um, just on everything. This year has been so crazy, like, the ups and downs. And then when I look at this, I look at like where I've come from and everything and hopefully add to it and, and where I'm going. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's get right to it without diving too deep into everything. But yeah, let's go right into it. And here's the first page. <laughs> I wanna have the Squirtle because I really like the Blastoise Keldeo deck with it from Boundaries Crossed. Right in the middle, Squirtle's my favorite Pokemon. Uh, my second is Gallade, and my third Charizard, so I wanted to match these up here. That came, I think, in the GX box set together, and then I've had these ones. Um, not too sure if I opened up this on the channel, but definitely uh, stuff that I've had. I had, like, this little binder of all my Charizards, and then when Charizards hit, like, heavy, I was like, yo, I gotta... Um, I gotta definitely get it. And I know in this, the, the video um, did not get to show this off. Did not pull it in uh, my champion's path in the last video, but a card that, well, I definitely had to have. I bought, like, I don't even have four. Four champion's path boxes. But this just is such a beauty. Like, I don't know if I can ever get my hands on the black star or whatever it is that the star one or the shining Charizard, but... To get the this one, or even like the Hidden Fates one, is like crazy expensive now. Uh, but yeah, got these ones, the OG bases, uh, not first edition, sadly, but all in kind of okay condition. Like, I, I don't even want to say what PSA grade they'd be, um, but they are not too too bad. They're just older. And, of course, there's the EX ones from the X and Y generations. I think I opened up these ones on the channel, so we could always look back there. I wanted every Squirtle that came out uh, in the TCG. I had the the old one, the the Japanese starter deck or whatever, where he's, like, bumping his head on a cherry tree and the one where he's on the road. Long ago, when I was a little kid, and I, I can't tell you what happened to those, but, um, yeah, this, I just wanted every Squirtle. Squirtle is my favorite Pokemon. The Rocket Squirtle is cool. I remember a long time ago picking this up, I believe for like a dollar. First edition, Shadowless. Um, if I can show you its condition, I think it's just messed up right there. So it's pretty cool. I mean, as a kid, never really care about centering or whatnot, but first edition shadows had this ever since I was a kid. And I remember jokingly, funny story about that is um, telling, I think, my uncle's friend, because he was like, is that even worth anything? And I was like, one day, $500. And I was like, a kid, you really believe it. But man, this that squirtle's getting pretty up there. But yeah. I really like that art. Um, Rocket Squirtle was like my childhood favorite one. Just 
I just like the art a lot. And then this one came out, and then like that's the Ken Sugimori art. And then this was like my favorite for a while. And then this one, then that one, because it was part of like a Blastoise deck, I think, Crystal Guardians or something like that. And then this Squirtle has been my favorite so far, um, just because of that Blastoise Keldeo deck. And I think there's just like one Squirtle left. And I have room in case more Squirtle come out. Glade, another Pokemon I had to have like every artwork of the TCG. And then just add it in the Spirit Link, whatever. But yeah, Glade, my second favorite Pokemon. Uh, would be happy if they made a shiny version of it. Because I do like his like dark blue scheme. And like, I have all the Ralts. Just because I do like Ralts as well. Because it turns into Gallade. So yeah. Sorry I'm not going in depth in like every art. But it's just, <laughs> this is just my camera. This is its kind of field of view. And the shiny one. I have like three of these. Three. I remember I really, really wanted that. Um, for... The uh, Hidden Fates opening I did, which I got really lucky on. I'm so thankful I got those pulls. Um, but I remember I, I sold that Gardevoir and a few other things. And then I picked up this Ralts and something else. Um, but I just wanted Ralts. And I got a few others because I was really thinking about going through like grading my cards. So I was like, maybe I need to find the best Ralts. But I, I didn't take that route. Grading cards is just oh a nightmare. Um, I'm pretty sure it's way worth it, but for some of these cards, like <laughs> Charizards and stuff, it'd be so expensive because, wow, they've just exploded. I mean, you saw the base set um, one. If I want to get that graded, I'm going to have to pay a pretty penny just to get it graded. And for it to come back, probably like a five, maybe a four, five, six, I, I don't know. Uh, but Evolution Charizard pulled that here on the channel, the Reverse Hollow. Dark Charizard had this since I was a kid. And I am so sad because I had, I think it was just last year, I had Blaine's Charizard as well. Like, I looked through my Charizard folder. I was like, you know what? I'll keep Dark Charizard. And I just sold Blaine's Charizard. Because, um, wow. Like I said, Charizard just went through this. Amazing face. I'm glad I got a lot of this um, still in my collection because I got rid of a few. Um, sadly, I wasn't collecting at the time of like Ruby and like from here to here. I'm missing so much. And then like from here, I kind of got back into it. I'm saving spaces. I'm getting a Y soon. The Mega Charizard Y from Evolutions and then um, saving this spot for x if i ever pull it or get it um just saving those spots so it can be next to the spirit link and then you know the tag team that came in the box set the v gonna save a spot here for the v max and then this one came in champion's path so yeah and then they're probably gonna make a bunch of charizard it's it's a money maker so i have some room here also just in case if i ever do collect more and i just want to space them out into when they were released like I did with the Squirtle and Gallade. And another one you'll see, my Superior Collection. Um, as you see, got these all here. And uh, that's how, that's why I put some extra space for the Charizard, just in case. I just felt like they looked weird all spaced out, and you'll see so many holes. Uh, so I kind of clumped them together. Cool about Superior. Um, it's had like it's, it uses such low energies. I think the one is just the this one and that. They need like three. But I remember building this deck very early in college. Um, when it came out, I don't know what happened to it. This is like one of the last surviving pieces of it. Um, just because it was too energy, you know, it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, same thing with these. Just too energy. got the turtle collection this is the box set from the blastoise gx they got some full arts of turtle pokemon and if they ever make like torterra caracosta and if any other turtle gets released that'll be that'll go there this is what i call the turtle page and then the girl page 
It's like, you know, Gardevoir, Zamolga, Sylveon. And I just fit this here. Just because I didn't know where else to put it. This was the other part that came with that Charizard, like, breaks in GX. Like, the tag team. That was a box set. So, I really like this deck. The Fairy deck was really cool. And uh, sad to see Fairy go. So, I, I kind of like the pink cards. And these are just some, like, full arts and stuff. Um... This is where I like to collect more of my full arts and put it. I know this one isn't. It's like not a full art, but I didn't know where else to put that one. Um, probably move it on the girl page or something. But yeah, Keldeo, one of my favorite uh, mythical Pokemon. I think I pulled that uh, on this channel. I'm not too sure. Um, I picked up this one, forgetting I had one. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Like... I bought it thinking like, oh, that art's so cool. And then when I looked through back my collection, I found th this one and then the other one right here. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll just put you there. Um, this one came from the box set, I believe, from Hidden Fates. Um, funny story is I just sold one in like the packet. I didn't know why it was going for so such a crazy price. And then when I saw that the PSA 10s were like 300 bucks, I was like, well, maybe I should have done that. And then I forgot I opened up two Hidden Fates, one for the channel and then one for fun. And I found that extra box and I was like, cool, I'll just keep it. This is like not centered or anything. I think it has a little whitening. So I was like, I'll take it out of the plastic and just uh, put it into my binder. Like in Rock, um, my girlfriend, I believe she pulled this one, right? And then she also pulled this one, actually. She has better luck than me sometimes. Uh, so <laughs> these two are pulls she made. Um... Yeah, <laughs> so that's cool. This one is one of my more recent additions. Like, I don't have too many full arts and whatnot, but this one I bought, like, a Burning Shadows pack at a card shop to help support, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> Salazzle. And we'll just go down a bit. So th this will be all, like, extra spaces for full arts and whatnot. Um, right here, the Amazing Arts. Saw this one on channel the Rayquaza Rayquaza and then we went to Target and we were looking for packs and funny story about this one uh, I'll get a close up on it since the Rayquaza you can see on the opening man amazing arts are just so beautiful um the packs were kind of hidden I don't think I think it was a display and maybe it broke or something so they had to move it to like a register like behind a register and we're just like, yo, let's get like two packs and then, ooh, that Zamazenta, really cool. Then to go over here, got these, the trainer, like I think it's, this is from like Cosmic Eclipse stuff. Um, I did not pull that. I wish I got more. I remember this was like $2. I just needed one. I think everything was like $2 uh, when they first came out. Maybe like one or two or like five um but i just remember them being super cheap and i wish i picked up this because these just woo, another card that just went like up there it's not not too crazy um but would have definitely liked to have like a whole page just because it's red you know it's awesome flannery and torkoal was really cool flannery is my favorite gym leader and three don and pip were super cute like super iconic they were in the anime ace roll and mimi q i thought was really cute and then i wish i had gotten the the full art one where they're like sleeping but even that's pretty cool i actually i picked that up for like really cheap actually and then here we go i think that one you saw pulled on the channel did i pull this one did i boundaries cross no that was from my first ever boundaries cross booster box i opened up just to see what i'd get um yeah these are just like full art trainers and stuff my girlfriend pulled this one from i believe it was a cosmic eclipse something random and she just pulled it and I was like whoa and then I, I ended up paying for that like I think for the longest it was 20 and then it dropped down to like 12 and I was like I gotta get red shots I gotta get red um yeah I pulled that that was in like a box set and I only really wanted the mallow oh no that was in the box set mallow I got I think at Frank's I think that at Frank's that online and then I pulled this one there's not really much here 
except for now these are my cousins um he had given me a collection of his and told me to go through it and i was like whoa you got some non-foil dark blastoise and dark treasures like sadly not first edition or anything like that but um yeah they're here and then i made space because his favorite pokemon's blastoise so i put them back here and the put blastoise back here and i already have the base set one in the front so i wanted to have like all the artworks so i spaced these ones out in case i ever do get all the blastoise I have the foil one in the Blastoise Keldeo deck that I still kind of have around. And yeah. So I think I just need the two Megas or whatever. They're the ones from Evolutions or X and Y and then the one from Generations. And then the V and V Max should start over here. And that's about it. That is my little collection. Um, very happy with it. Uh, gonna try to continue it and put this in a safe location hidden away uh not here but in a safe somewhere in mexico <laughs> i'm just kidding uh but yeah merry christmas again um like i said my collection is not that great and um whatever you guys have you might think is not that great or could be better but i say just work on it um present it in a really cool way and just be proud of it like these are memories and these are cards and really shows our personality um so let me know what your favorite pokemon is down below in the comments uh, like I said, these are in my top three. And then Superior would be number four. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. Uh, that's that's my collection, and hopefully it grows. Maybe next time I could show like the the other stuff I got. Uh, but for right now, that's about it. Anyways, thank you for watching so much. Again, happy holidays and everything. Peace.